People had great hopes for Chanel Williams back when she was a student and was very active in fighting the decimation of the college. But then when she became a board member, she immediately pushed administration policies that consistently downsized the college and has frequently been absent from important meetings like meetings that were down at City Hall this spring to um, get fun additional Read funding the from the city. city she never responds to emails from constituents and we really need to be building up this college at this Read time but she has gone along with uh, instructions from administration and recommendations from administration to vote to decrease budgets and to cut classes. That was back in February. She also uh, voted to hire Chancellor Rocha. She voted to hire him. She voted to uh, extend his contract before it expired and then to fire him with an over $300 uh, walkaway package. Oh, what's a hundred grand? You know, it's like a hundred here or there. But eventually it adds up and you don't have the money to pay the teachers and they have to take a pay cut, a sizable one, which they've done this year. So those are a few of the reasons why I'm out here protesting uh, Chanel Williams and her efforts to repay her campaign debt. My name is Marilee Hearn and I'm here to educate. Um, I think that some of our politician friends who are here to help Chanel Williams pay off her campaign debts may not be well informed about the decisions that were made at City College by the Board of Trustees. So our purpose here is to make sure they understand some of the key issues. As I said on my sign, that 2,000 older adults were displaced. Many of those older adults did go to Fort Mason and participate in the classes there. Now they have no place to go. And uh, we're very upset about it, but trying to find other people who are upset about it. Obviously the Board of Trustees aren't. So at any rate, we're here to educate. And if they were they actually lost money because they would have gotten money from the state. They the always college. did get money from the state for that program. Read yes. The city college. Yes. What does that say? <laughs> it said that they don't want older adults there, period. That's it. It's not a financial uh, thing. It's they don't want us there. So I'm Carol Mayer, and I was one of the people who like tried to start the um, the uh, um, the privately paid. Remember when they cut all the older adults classes, and then we tried to start all of the privately paid ones, and then they made me cancel them. I was really upset about that. I still don't really know why they made me cancel them because we had people who were willing to pay. We had people who this broke my heart. There there were people who said, "Oh, if somebody can't afford it, I will pay double and just let somebody get in for me for free." I know. We had public money. We had public money. Well, Something is wrong, yeah. And the thing is, is that the people who were doing a lot of the older adults program, 99% of them were among those millionaires and billionaires. They were more than happy to fund the programs. Personally, if for whatever reason the state, we couldn't make it work, but... Rocha and these people have a record on Yeah, but Rocha's gone. The guy that they replaced him. Oh, God. Why would they pick these people? Who are they? I don't That's know. what I would like to know. Who I don't are know. They? Why, what do they get? What do they get, Rocha? Yeah. Anyway. I mean, I, I, it's, it it's angers me that in this city, you, you don't have a free public been out here community for college, college and people can't get classes. Yeah, you guys get some food. Get some food. You don't want to eat All right. And my school had class. It was on pork, pork, and Eddie.
the boss at City College right here on Polk yes. and they, they got close. It got and close. He got close. I got very sad, very upset. I was going to fourth grade English and then they closed it. In the afternoon, I go to computer class, you know, from seven to eight. Yeah. They close it. You know. I don't know. They, they, this is the problem that I don't know why. And I want to ask to the government of the United States of America and the California and to the state of California, don't shut up city colleges. We need it. We need it. We want to. We want to success. We want to be an entrepreneur. We know them. We have nothing. But they've been closing them. So what I could ask the president of the United States of America is to please help us that we go back again in our feet. Because we know that we cannot be no one. Yes. I was on Polk, Polk and Eddie City College. I was just studying fourth grade and fourth grade English class, going to fifth grade, then night time I was doing a computer class unfortunately after one year later they closed it and I want to support them as much as I can I want to support them as much as I can I have a wonderful teacher I have a wonderful people and I hope we can go back again so I'm Michael Lyon I'm in Progressive Labor Party I taught physiology to nursing students for about five years during the 1970s and it was a, it was a good program and they put out they produced lots of good nurses actually I was I was taken care of uh, some of my uh, students when I had a uh, operation at Kaiser but um, so I knew Chanel Williams uh, because I was involved in the fight to keep uh, City College accreditation going. And City, um, Chanel Williams was a, uh, a leader in this fight to keep City College accredited. But uh, she later got put onto the board of, of, uh, of trustees of City College. And she ended up um, voting for and campaigning for all of the cuts that uh, were going to uh, disgorge uh, City College. We call them racist cuts because uh, the ESL programs were, basic, were basically going to uh, be shut down. There was a lot of programs that were uh, geared uh, toward black and Latin students which got shut down. So they are racist cuts. But her, her migration from a fighter for, for City College to uh, someone who's um, using the procedures of, of the bosses, basically, to, uh, to try to downsize it and shut it down as a community college just shows how if you try to work within the boss's rules, you get sucked into the same processes and you'll, you end up as an enemy to the working class.